Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you guys have seen all of my Disney vlogs that I just dropped this past couple weeks. If you have not seen them, please go check them out because this video is gonna be about everything that I got at Disney this past trip. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a full on haul of what I got on our last Disney trip, which was like, a month ago now that I'm filming this almost. I picked up quite a lot of stuff this trip because it was the 50th anniversary. So I mean, I had to get all of the cool new things that they dropped. So yeah, I did get quite a bit of things. So I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I got this trip. I honestly just got a variety of different things. I got like mugs, pins, stickers, jewelry, ears, clothing items. I got so many different things. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. I'm trying to figure out this new setup that I got going on. I got a new desk in front of my wall here, so I thought it would be easier to prop my camera up on here and film this way. Plus, I love my plants behind me, but this window is gonna be a problem. So I'm trying to figure out the lighting. If the lighting keeps on changing, I'm sorry. It's just because of the window um, and the sun, but let me see if I can try to close it a little bit more and make it a little bit better. Okay. I feel like that looks a little bit better. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm sure you guys wanna see what I got. I do get a lot of requests for Disney hauls when I come back from my trips, so I know you guys are probably waiting for this. I did tease a couple of things in my vlog, so you might know some of the stuff that I picked up already, but let's just get into showing you all the things I got on my last Disney trip. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the thing that's probably the least exciting. I mean, everything's exciting because it's Disney, but this is just something that you can pick up when you buy things, so you might know what I'm talking about. It's just the little bag um, that you get when you buy stuff. If you wanna pay for the bag, they, you do have to pay for them, obviously. But this is the small size. Wrong. It's holding some stuff right now, so I'm trying to be careful because they are ceramic. But this is the small bag. Wrong. You have Mickey and Minnie in the castle, and then on the sides it just says, Walt Disney World 50th, and my favorite part is on the back. It just says 50th of the castle on it, Walt Disney World, the most magical celebration. I love this bag. We did end up getting the medium and the large bags as well. I don't have them with me right now. I'm pretty sure they're in my car, like for groceries and stuff and shopping. But yeah, I have the small one with me, so I thought I'd show you guys that one. They do have small, medium, large, and they all have different prints on them. So I think the small one has the Mickey and Minnie in the castle, and then the medium one, or no, that's a medium one. I'm so sorry, I said that was a small. That is a medium. Duh, sorry about that. Go back and ignore that I said medium. Or small, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a mess. So yes, that's a medium. The medium has uh, Minnie and Mickey in the castle. The small has Tinkerbell on it. And then the large one, I'm pretty sure, has like all of the parks on it on the back. I can't remember exactly what it has on it, but I remember the large being my favorite um, just because it has like all the parks on it and stuff. So yeah, those are the bags that you can get. Okay, let's move on to the next thing that I got. I'm just gonna go randomly and grab random stuff on my desk here. So one of the next things I got is a pin. It is a 50th anniversary pin of the castle. I love the colors in it. It's like got iridescent colors. I love this pin. I think it's so pretty. I don't really try to buy pins anymore because I don't really know what to do with them but I wanted at least one of the 50th anniversary pins and this one was honestly just my favorite just because it's so pretty. I like pins that are, are fancy, pretty looking rather than like characters on them. I just think it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. So that is the one that I picked up. Next, I'm gonna keep going with the small stuff. Um, I got two stickers from the Vault Collection. I wanted the Vault Collection so bad. Sorry, I just got distracted. I saw the collection on Instagram when we were at the parks and um, what I saw, it said that it was only Disney Springs. And I was like, man, we're not going back to Disney Springs. I was so upset. And then we walked over to uh, one of the stores on Main Street in Magic Kingdom and they had the vault stuff. I was so excited. I'm, I think I have that in a vlog and I was like, oh my goodness, they have all the vault stuff over here. So anyways, I was really excited to find that stuff. So I'll just start with two stickers that I got from that collection. I love stickers. So the first one is this Walt Disney World retro sticker with like a retro logo. I absolutely love the retro logo. I really like how this sticker looks and I love to collect stickers. By the way, these stickers are $4.99. Um, I don't know how much the pin is because they go by like the colors, so you can't even read that. It is a silver pin. So if you guys know how much the silver pins are, that's how much this is. Um, and then the bag, I wanna say is around like 
two dollars maybe two dollars and something and change i can't remember exactly but yeah this sticker was $4.99 and the next sticker that i got and the last sticker that i got is so cool i really just love how this one looked and it just says magic kingdom walt disney world on it and it has all of the older style of the characters super super cool i still haven't taken these out of the baggies because i just don't want to ruin them and i don't know where to put them um but yeah this is just so cool it has like Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Pluto, Daisy, um, it has Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and then it has one of the uh, three caballer caballer cab Cavaleros? Cavaleros? However you say it. But yeah, it's one of them. I forget his name, but it's the green bird. So yeah. I really like the sticker. I think it looks really cool. And this one is also $4.99. I obviously am a annual pass holder and a DVC member. So I do get a discount. I don't remember exactly how much the discount is. I'm really bad. I obviously know nothing. Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so it's 20%. That's what I thought. I just didn't want to say it and be wrong. So everything I did buy, I did get 20% off of. Okay, so moving on to something else small. I'm going to go with all the small stuff first. Just because they're right here in front of me but this is also from the vault collection it's just these pack of four keychains i absolutely love these keychains so much like i said i love the vault stuff because it's all retro looking and that's just like one of my favorite things but yeah i absolutely love these i think they're super cool we have mickey with florida and then a castle on it you know like the outline of the state of florida um walt disney world this is that same old logo we have a mickey keychain here and then a castle keychain and these are clear which i really like i think that's super cool and they have a little like 50th charm on them too i love these these were 20 dollars, so 19.99 um for four keychains so i'm gonna split these between me and my family and we'll all get a keychain okay so moving on to the next small thing that i got the box is a little messy i apologize i tried keeping it in the box but you know it's been like weeks since we got back so but here's the box uh super pretty box i'm definitely gonna be keeping this but inside is a castle necklace set with castle earrings and they say 50th on them i don't know if you can tell it's right at the bottom and it just has a 50 on there but this is so cute i love them so much i and more of like a dainty jewelry person this is a little bit bigger like the necklace is just a little bit bigger than i would normally wear but it's just so pretty and the price was not bad which i'm surprised because disney jewelry can be pricey so for a set of a necklace and earrings it was 35 dollars 34.99 which is not bad for disney jewelry because i saw a pair of earrings and they were like $65. So $35 for necklace and earrings is a deal for me. Okay, next thing. Absolutely adorable little thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> but it is this little Winnie the Pooh. Um, I forget what these are called. Anyways, he's super cute. I honestly have been wanting this for a really long time. But I just keep putting it off because it's just a little doll. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Um, but he's just been standing up on my shelf in my room like... In the corner he looks so cute and i got him this outfit absolutely adorable he just stands up i want to say the doll itself was like 20 and then the clothes i want to say maybe like 12 13 like i said i don't have the packaging so i don't know exactly how much it was but i want to say that's about the price so i absolutely love him and winnie the pooh's my fave so i had to get him they're coming out with a rapunzel one Rapunzel is my favorite princess. I'm probably going to be getting that one too. Okay, next thing I got is in its package, but I have used it. And I used it at Disney. But it is an OtterBox case. Wow, the lighting's really bright. Okay, there you go. It's an OtterBox case. Um, it has the castle on it. I will take it out of the box so you guys can see. This was $59.99, so very pricey for me. Um, but I don't have an OtterBox case or especially a Disney OtterBox case because there hasn't been one for my phone because I got the 12 Pro and uh, they hadn't had any for my phone yet. So this is the first one I have for my phone. They do only have these in the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max and obviously the iPhone 12 because it's the same size as the Pro. But yeah, those are the only ones they're selling this case in, which I was kind of surprised. If you have those phones, you can get this case. If you do not, you won't be able to pick this up. But look at how amazing this case is if the exposure is not too bright. <laughs> um, it's just got a white background. It has this beautiful picture of the castle on it. And it does say 50th right there in the middle. Um, the sides are like a gold color. Absolutely love this. I'm going to put it on my phone right now so you guys can see what it looks like on my phone. It is really, really hard to get on your phone 
for some reason so I have a little bit of trouble getting it on and off but this is what it looks like I love it with the gold phone I think it looks really pretty I love this case so much and I'm so happy that I was able to get it for my phone okay next thing was probably one of the most popular items that everyone wanted for the 50th anniversary if you already know what I'm thinking of you were probably there and you probably saw the drama that happened on that day for this item and I was able to get one. <laughs> so I'm sorry, that sounded so braggy. Like if you weren't able to get one, I'm so sorry. They did have them all day, so you should have been able to get one. Hopefully you did. Anyways, it is the Starbucks 50th anniversary tumbler. Look at this in the light, that is so pretty. Um, I honestly, at first, before we left, I saw all the merchandise that they were going to be selling and I was kind of iffy on this. Like, I really wanted it, but then I was thinking, am I really going to use it? Because I use, like, the same cup every day for my water. But, um, I have not put this down since we've gotten home. Like, I have been using this nonstop for my water. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I was able to get it. It's just... The colors are amazing. It says 50th on there with a castle, Walt Disney World, and then it says the most... The world's magical, wait, <laughs> the world's most magical celebration. Um, and then on the other side, it just has the Starbucks logo, but I'm so happy I was able to pick this up. I love it so much. By the way, this was $34.99, I think. So we got that on the day of the 50th, which was absolutely crazy. People were fighting for them, like actual fist fights for these cups. And we were able to get it pretty easily. We didn't have any problems. And also they kind of made it like, they made everyone nervous that they weren't going to be able to pick one up, but they had those all day. Like, they brought more out later on throughout the day, and I feel like everyone was pretty much able to get them. I'm talking a lot, so I'm just going to keep trying to speed this up because I still got quite a few things to go. So the next item is also something I've been super excited for, um, and it is the soap dispenser. Now, these, I first saw that they sold these in Disneyland Tokyo, like, years ago, um, and I really wanted to go. Not just for this, but I wanted to go and I wanted to get that while I was there. Haven't been able to go there yet, but um, I would love to one day. Anyways, they brought them here and I'm so happy that they did because I am so excited to use this. I kept it in the box for you guys, but I'm definitely going to break it open after this video is done and put it in my bathroom. But it is so cool. If you've never seen these, it is a soap dispenser that when you push the pump down, it pumps out the foam soap in the shape of a Mickey head. <laughs> so cute i love that idea um and right it does come with soap in it it has little 50th you know characters like all their cute little outfits and stuff like that now this was 14.99 so not too bad and then you know with a discount it's even better so um i'm excited to use this i can't wait okay next i'm gonna move on to the mugs that i got i got four mugs when we were there i was loving all the mugs that they had this trip i'm a sucker for mugs so i picked up as many as i could i'll just start with this first one i got this in epcot now i will tell you exactly where to find this because i could not find this mug and something else you'll see later that i found in the same area um, I was looking for them and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I ended up finding this in the tea place in the England Pavilion in Epcot. And it's this Winnie the Pooh mug. It's so adorable. He's dressed up like a guard at the Buckingham Palace. I think it's so cute. It says Winnie the Pooh. It just has like London scenery in the back. This little bee on the handle is like the cutest thing ever. It's so cute. And then um, the back just says... London is the best adventure, UK, England, you know, and it has like the scenery. And the inside says, today is my favorite day. So cute. Love Winnie the Pooh so much. This does not have a price. I want to say it maybe was around 20, maybe. If I can find the receipt. Oh, right here. First receipt I pulled out. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, this was $19.99. Perfect. Okay. If you want this, go to the tea place. It is in there. In the back, they have a whole poo section. The next mug that I got was part of the 50th anniversary collection and it is this white iridescent mug with a castle on it it's the same castle design that's on the phone case it's really pretty the iridescent is so pretty on this mug and then on the inside it just says Walt Disney World 50th so it's a really big mug too like it's really round and uh deep so you can put a lot of coffee in this it's great i also don't remember the price of this but i want to say it was around 30 maybe 25 i don't remember that's a lot for a mug but yeah i think it was around there somewhere the next thing that i picked up is another mug and this one is one of the starbucks been there mugs now when we first got there they did not have any of these they had like the tall travel mugs 
and uh, I like just regular classic handled mugs and um, they actually came out with the Animal Kingdom one and the Hollywood Studios one the day that we were leaving and so we traveled around to all the parks to look for them and we ended up finding the Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom one. Magic Kingdom and Epcot still don't have theirs out yet which I think is kind of strange um, but hopefully they'll come out soon and we can pick them up. So this is the Animal Kingdom one that we got. I love these mugs. I've never gotten one and I'm happy I waited till now to get it because now they say 50th on them. These are just mugs that say the location that you bought them at and then it has all of these pictures, drawings, whatever of little items around that park. So this is the Animal Kingdom one. I'm pretty sure these Starbucks cups are $20. And then the last mug is the Hollywood Studios Starbucks mug. So here's what it looks like. It says 50th on it, it's Hollywood Studios. And then I love the designs on this one. So this one is mine. The Animal Kingdom one is my mom's because Hollywood is one of my favorite parks and Animal Kingdom is one of my mom's favorite parks. It just has everything on it and it is blue on the inside. So I love these. I'm so happy we were able to get these while we were there. Okay, we're moving towards the end. Just got a couple things left to show you guys and I'm gonna go into the ears next. I got two pairs of ears while I was there. The first ones are ones probably everyone has seen. <laughs> My dogs are barking. You can probably hear it. Let me wait. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get my dogs to stop barking. Um, what was I saying? The ears that I got were on the same day as the tumbler, whatever. They were hard to get. We got a pair, and they're the famous light-up ears. Now, mine are kind of defective because the bow is, like, really crooked. And I don't know if it's because the ears are crooked. Because if I hold the headband straight, this is what it looks like. So I think the whole thing is kind of off. So when I wear it, I just have to make sure I'm wearing it, like crooked on my head but they're pretty cool there's a little button here in the back and like a usb charger they give you a charger cord to charge the ears with but you just press the little button and they light up you can't really tell let me turn off my light hold on see they light up they're cool this one in the corner is like on the back for some reason don't know how to fix that i tried moving the light on this one because it got like stuck in the back so it lights up in the back and when i tried moving the light this little rhinestone right here fell off so I had to hot that back on. That's not, not cool Disney. Anyways, they are pretty cool. I mean, I'll wear them. I like wearing them at night. I think it's cool they light up, so. These were probably, oh man, 30? I Probably 30, because they're light up. They were on the pricier side, so I'm a little disappointed in these, I'm not gonna lie. And the next pair of ears are the best ears ever. Literally the best ears I've ever bought. They were kind of expensive, but they're still amazing. So there are these Winnie the Pooh ears. They're literally the cutest things I ever look at them. They're fuzzy. They have a little bumblebee on them. They're so cute. I love ears like this where they're like characters, actual ears. These I got in the uh, tea store in England in Epcot with that mug. They have like a whole Winnie the Pooh section in the back of the tea store. Um, I could not find it because I was like, why would they have Winnie the Pooh ears in a tea store? But they do have them there, so go check. But these are just the best things ever. I'm so excited to wear these. These were $29.99, so pretty expensive for these tiny little ears. Like here's the regular ears compared to them. They're tiny, <laughs> so I'm kind of surprised that they're that much, but they're just so cute, I had to pick them up. I cannot wait to wear these on my next trip. All right, I have a little bit of a story with this next item. So we were there, like I said, on the day of the 50th. We tried to get a virtual queue for the Big Top Souvenir Store, which they had all of the day of merchandise in, and they were telling us like, this is the only day that it's gonna be available, so go get it. We didn't get in until like eight o'clock at night. So by the time we got in, they had nothing. Like the only shirts that they had, they had them in the size small, and they only had a couple different shirts to choose from. Um, I wanted the annual pass holder one, didn't end up getting it, they sold out. I also wanted the mug, didn't end up getting it, they sold out. They did have one thing that I wanted and it was this bucket hat. I love this bucket hat, but I am kind of bummed out about that whole, you know, process. It was just, a lot of people were kind of upset with it because um, nobody knew you had to get in a virtual queue to do it. So by the time people found out, it was just a mess. Um, but I did end up getting this bucket hat and I'm happy that I was able to get at least this. So this is what it looks like, it's purple. This is Walt Disney World. It shows the year that they opened and the year that it is right now. It is a spirit jersey material. And then on the top of the bucket hat, it has a Mickey with a castle and it just says the 50th on it. And then it does say October 1st, 2021. So it is a day of merch, but it's very tiny. So you won't really know. Yeah, this is super cute. I love bucket hats. I can't wait to wear this on my next trip as well. And uh, it doesn't have a price on it. It has a tag, but there's no price. That's great. I think it was probably, I would guess, around like 
30, somewhere around there, but super cute and I'm glad I got it. Okay, now I have another item from the vault collection and it is a t-shirt. I got it in the large. I love oversized t-shirts. Am I regretting that I got it in the large? A little bit because I put it on and I like to tie my shirts so I was fine with that but when I try to tie it the like print disappears so I kind of wish I would have got a medium but that's okay I will still wear it obviously I can even wear it to bed if I want to so this is what it looks like it's just like a retro Mickey with a castle and it says Walt Disney World I hope you can see it because I can't see anything and I'm so excited to wear this I'm gonna wear this on the next trip as well and I just think it's so cute so yeah, this is that shirt. I can't remember how much this was either. I want to say like 40, maybe. Somewhere around there, 40 or 45. And we have two more items to go, and they're also both clothing items. They're actually both sweatshirts. I love sweatshirts so much. We'll start with this one. I think this is the one I got first, actually. I got both of these in a large, by the way. I like them oversized. So this is a cropped hoodie. It's not super cropped, but it is on the more on the crop side. It's a navy blue, and it just says Walt Disney World on it with a castle, and then it says like their little slogan for the 50th, and you know, it says 50 on it. And the strings for the hoodie are the exact same like iridescent color I think it's really pretty and it does have a hood which I love hoodies I wear them all the time there's not much to it it just has that on it I actually like that it's more subtle you know it's not having like a big print or anything yeah I really like this one it's very comfortable I'm happy I got in a large because it fits really nice and baggy and I don't remember how much this is either I didn't keep the tags on these because I've been wearing them but I think um, it was if I had to guess, probably like around 35, 40, 45, somewhere around there. This is the first sweatshirt that I got. And the next sweatshirt that I got, the last item that I picked up on our trip, I'm looking around to make sure that, that is correct. And that is correct, okay. So the last thing I picked up is this hoodie that I've literally been wearing every single day. I love it so much. This is the hoodie. It's like a mustard yellow color. I'm actually surprised. I really like this color on me. I didn't know how I feel about it, but I did get this in a large, so it's pretty big. Big. It is like the perfect size where it like goes over my hips and my legs and it kind of just looks like a men's sweatshirt. Love it. So nice. So comfortable. And this is the logo that it has on it. it says the slogan, you know, and the Walt Disney World with 50th and a castle in navy blue. And it has a nice big hood with some little strings here. Now the coolest part about this is the pocket. So on the bottom, it has one of those pockets that, you know, your hand goes through the whole thing like that but the zipper is the coolest thing ever so it unzips and it has this big pocket that goes almost all the way down to the bottom i love that so much i think that's so cool i've used that pocket more than you would even think it's it's awesome and then on the back it has a print that i love too i think it looks so pretty and it's just mickey mouse and navy with the iridescent 50th logo on it and it says Walt Disney World and it has all these little pretty stars around it. So this I want to say was like 55. I know it was more on the pricier side. It's super thick um, and so I can see it being more expensive. So I will probably say it was around 50 to 55 somewhere like that but I'm so happy I got this one. And that is everything that I picked up on my trip. I picked up a lot of stuff this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up on my trip. Stay tuned for some more Disney content coming soon. I'm not gonna tell you when, but just stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite thing that I picked up was. I'm curious to know what people might wanna get when they go. So tell me what your favorite thing I picked up is or tell me uh, something that you saw that you would want to get if you could go. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!